Hello. What we're going to look at in this screen cam is some uh, design work using a FET. Now currently you've seen FETs and they've already had bias components. What I want you to do this time, we're going to design the value of the FET self bias and we're going to have to design the value of our drain load component. So the obvious starting point is let's have a look at the spec and see what we need. IDSQ, our bias current that's flowing through RD2, down here, 3 milliamps. We're going to want VD, the DC potential here, to be, in our case, 12 volts. Okay, because we have 24 volts supply. And these are the two transistor parameters that we use inside our FETs to do our design work. IDS test 12 milliamps and VP, the pinch off voltage, minus 3 volts. So let's start with the basic transistor equation. We have IDS is equal to IDSS into 1 minus VGS divided by VP, pinch off voltage. Close brackets, squared. So in BJTs we have exponentials and natural logs. In fact we have our squared term which causes us the difficulty. In the self bias line, what we're doing is we're promoting this potential here, VRS, and VRS is effectively creating um, the, the bias of this particular device. So two things we need to do. We need to write out our, our VGS equation, and also need to swap around our, this, this equation in terms of VGS. So let's do this one first. Okay, so first off, IDS, if we take the divine, we divide through by IDSS, we're left with this term, which is squared, so we need to take square root. So that's removed the square root from this one. We then have 1 minus VGS VP, and we've got VGS on this side. So um, let's just do that in a few stages for you. 1 minus VGS over VP. Okay, if I subtract, if I add that this term to the equation and I subtract that term, I will now end up with VGS over VP is equal to 1 minus square root of IDS all divided by IDSS. Okay, simple multiplication by VP. We now have VGS is equal to VP brackets 1 minus square root IDS over IDSS. Okay. Right. We need the self bias line. The self bias line would be VGS is equal to minus IDS RS. So that's this resistance, the current flowing force is VGS. So, I'm going to go to a new page. We're going to carry these equations forward and pop some numbers in. We should then be able to do our calculations. Okay. So let's um, put our numbers into that equation. Our, we're after VGS. Pinch voltage was minus 3 volts. Into 1 minus... Uh, 3 milliamps was our current current, over 12 was our term uh, square rooted. 3 over 12 square rooted is 0.5. 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 3 is minus 1.5 volts. Okay? So that's our start point. Um, now what we need to do is we need to do our KVL. We need our Kirchhoff's voltage loop around the uh, gate source. So that um, becomes VG, gate voltage, minus VGS, uh, minus VRS equals zero. Okay, we're substituting the numbers. We've got 1.5 volts here, VGS. So minus, minus 1.5 is plus. So let's put in our numbers, the bias at the gate is 0 volts, minus minus is plus 1.5 volts, 
minus VRS equals zero. Okay? So now when we solve that one, we simply now know that VRS equal to 1.5 volts. Okay? So, RS is equal to VRS divided by IDS, which is equal to 1.5 volts divided by 3 milliamps, okay, which equals 500 ohms. Okay, so we've found our sort of first component. We can now calculate RD. The gain resistance is equal to VDD, the supply, minus VDD upon 2, because that was the specification. And we need to know the current flowing. Very simple. 3 milliamps. Acquiescent. So here we have 24 minus 12 divided by 3. 24 volts minus 12 volts over 3 milliamps. And that equals 4 kilo ohms. Okay. We've actually completed our bias. And we now know two main key factors. We know that our S is equal to 500. And we know that our D is equal to 4,000. Ooh, something happened there. Don't know what happened. Oh, there we go. I think I one of the uh, Wacom pen tablet buttons. So there's our start point for the design. What we now need to do, we need to go back into our equations and calculate the values of AV. We need to go 